Bring David Guetta out to uh, Super Bowl, Bowl halftime. Half it's a possibility. One of the more popular uh, songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. Um, For sure, baby. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the nine. It's Wednesday. We are happy that we survived Halloween. Oh, Listen. You're telling me. Did yesterday drain y'all? Uh, it was exhausting. I, yeah, it was a lot. It's a mentally taxing day to try to be somebody else. Yeah. It, what and he it, said. It uh, for some of us. I mean, for some, for me, it's harder than I think for you guys. You guys are more naturally good at it. It's Not so, anymore. It's now, so I, <laughs> now I know differently. Marielle has had an awakening. <laughs> but first, uh, Marielle Lou, Ryan Armani. I'm Dina Centafonte. Yeah. Um, but thank you. We had a lot of nice, super nice comments. Yeah. And thank you. Some people thought I was uh, Madonna or Stevie Nicks, or they weren't sure what I was I've trying to do. I've been there, though. I, I know. Yeah. I know when people don't it's know what good. you are. I it's thought I, it, it was very clear to me. And yeah. I thought you absolutely saved the day. Boy, you embody Rocky. Oh, well. Embody you know, that man. We got a lot in common. Yeah, yesterday before the show, uh, Ryan says, uh, ladies in the hallway, I'm going to have to go listen to some <laughs> Rocky to get my uh, voice ready. He did. So uh, it was good. It hey, worked. Look, it worked. Yeah, yeah. it did. Um, yes, now on to the kids' Halloween situation. Yes. Right. Um, last night, it was snowing. <laughs> Snowing. <laughs> it was a uh, great trick or treating, but we we made it a couple of blocks. The kids now now they were all bundled up in their coats, and I think that was a disappointing part. For there's uh, my stepdad Timmy boy there. Papa goes uh, trick or treating with us every year. Um, but it was snowing. There was a snow squall, and uh, Lydia Where was. Where are the costumes? Well, that is the point. L Luke has his ninja outfit on Aww, underneath. Oh, there But she there's is. Lydia. Um, she was a red M and M. And she had suspenders on and uh, a whole outfit, but covered up by the jacket. She was not happy about that mm -mm, at yeah. all. No, that's it. I remember those days as a kid. Your mom made you put on this big, you know, hefty jacket over your oh, costume. Oh, man. Ugh. Terrible. Um, real quick, I'll show you my, uh, I didn't take many pictures. I was, I wanted to show you Charlie. This is Charlie's first Halloween with us, and he was fascinated. He's like, what is going on out there? Uh, you know, that we had dragons and ducks and princesses and Girl, superheroes. that's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big old dog. Anyway, I, um, I did two different bowls, guys. Are these Smarties? I've been trying to get rid of these Smarties since I bought them. I bought this giant bag of Smarties at Costco. Is that oh, just, that's just uh, a mix, little tin of uh, sugar, isn't I just it? tried to mix them in with the other candy. Oh, anyway. that house. Yeah. Um, but I also had a bowl of chips. You know, Doritos and such. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to the door. Uh, my husband wasn't home yet or something. I'm going to the door. I got two bowls. Uh-huh. And then the dog. Yeah. And I'm opening, and it's like a snow squall coming at me. No. I'm like, hey, kids, do you want uh, crispy and savory or sweet <laughs> and chewy? <laughs> and they're all like, well, uh, okay. I don't know. The so two bowls. So they didn't like the chips? No. I think the chips could I be a hit. be a good alternative. It was hmm. too much, too much going on there. Kids and then get the dog. lots and lots of candy. Yeah, they, did. they lasted about four blocks, okay. you know. And again, I, and I say it all, always that, like, um, you know, these kids get so much candy leading up to Halloween yeah. that they don't really have to work for it a ton <laughs> yeah. uh, on Halloween. But if I could just say to anybody that put your light on last night, thank you. You know, yeah. um, they, they, these, these neighbors, these people out there, they got their lights on. They make it fun for the kids. Thank you. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it is nice, especially yeah. when you don't, yeah. I mean, some of my friends who are empty nesters, mm -hmm. they're like, we're turning the light off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Putting out a bowl. Yeah. It's one of the joys. It's a rite of passage. Yeah. Been there, done that, taken a year or two and off. I feel like you got to hand out candy to the kids. Well, Smarties or potatoes. <laughs> right. Uh, I still got some left. I got off. some Smarties left for you guys. Uh, I have candy left too and chips. We'll pass on those. All right. We can uh, close the book on Halloween because yeah. yes. now it is time for Christmas. That time of year again, Mariah Carey bringing the holiday cheer. The iconic singer took to social media 
to welcome Santa's season, or Mariah's season, as she calls it. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so much. In a short video, Carrie Seed being defrosted just in time to cue her hit That's 1994 funny. song, All I Want for Christmas Is You. A song has earned the singer a Guinness World Record for highest charting holiday song uh, by a solo artist, the Billboard US uh, 100 list. This, uh, it really has become a thing. I, I think love or hate the song. Mm. It, it has become the like milestone, the marker for the Christmas season. I think. I wonder how that happens. Just these pop culture things that just. Well, it's an yeah. attitude. That Marketing. song specifically yeah. is an attitude, right? I mean, it gets you whatever you're feeling. Maybe it, that one song might lift your spirits a little bit, or at least has an opportunity to lift your spirits a little bit. It's a, it's I don't a know, mindset. How did, that, how did we go from? Because we've had beautiful Christmas and uplifting Christmas songs for. Uh, all of time. Name me a song that makes you almost just so happy on, on Christmas, you know? Um, mm. I mean, it's, it, it really does kind of encapsulate a mood, a feeling. Yeah. You know? She's, but she tapped into it. Yeah. Because they're, look, Take the holidays are different it. to a lot of different people. I mean, it's happy, yeah. it's sad, it's all these different mm -hmm. things. That song specifically, though, does lift you up a little bit. Well, I want to stay I lifted think. up. And so I have decided that I am going to decorate starting today. That's oh. the question we want to ask you. Is it too early to start decorating for Christmas? A new survey finds 16% of us actually say, no, today is the day you're supposed to do it. More than 65% of people waiting until the week of or the day after Thanksgiving. 10% wait until December 1st. 7% don't start until mid-December. Last year, I felt like I missed out on a lot of the Christmas season. I was traveling a lot, and I went out of town for Christmas, I believe. So I didn't want to do a whole bunch of yeah, work at home, yeah, yeah. you know? And I missed it. I feel like this time of year, people start being really nice to each other. You know, it's just... We all need a little kindness. I'm so torn on this because really? Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Right. And I feel like Thanksgiving just completely gets overlooked. It does. And, um, you know, the fall festivities and yeah. all of these things. But that Christmas stuff, I mean, you gotta lug it up from the basement and bring it up box by box. Then you're putting it all out. Then yeah. you're like, okay, am I gonna take this down three weeks from now? Yeah. No, you're gonna put it out and up yeah. so you can enjoy it for a little bit longer. And that's why you do it earlier. That's why, I know. I, I think I agree. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start getting some stuff out. Yeah, just something to just do. Just because it's so much work. <laughs> I feel like Derek might do this, but I'm wondering about the kind of people who go out and buy the Christmas decorations at the end of Christmas so season smart. the year before. Yeah. Because now all the Christmas stuff is out and it's expensive, but you want to get new things to decorate the house. How do you manage that? My situation is at the end. Every time I get out, all the, I have all this fake garland with lights. Some of yeah. them work, some of them don't. And right. then I'm like, okay, I'll get rid. And then I just pack it all yep. up. Yep. Because when you're done, you're done. Shove mm -hmm. it and back in the box. And you don't want to do box. an analysis. Yeah. So now this year, I'll get it out again. Oh, it won't work. It won't work. It will try and find the light and everything. It's a process. <laughs> it's definitely a process. So, yeah, starting early, that's a good idea. Mm. Hmm. More proof that machines are steadily taking over from people. Have you noticed more stores are adding self-checkout lines or maybe adding to the ones that they already had? We're talking like Aldi, Costco, the Dollar Tree, oh, you guys, man, the on, Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. Hmm. Big pharmacy, fast food chains as well. In fact, a new survey finds that nearly two-thirds of our shopping transactions every year are now being done by you. <laughs> You're doing your own checkout. 84% of Americans report that they like using the self-service kiosk at stores, with 66% of people claiming that they would choose a self-checkout lane over cashing out with a human. Hmm. Another study finds all the tech is having a negative impact on our mental health. Because 67% say the technology has made it harder for people to make meaningful connections. And they say it's part of the, this is part of the problem, is that you're not saying, hey, did you get to find everything you want? Yeah, thanks, I noticed the... 
Oranges were on sale. They look real good. <laughs> this was my experience. Uh, I went to Dollar Tree looking for some Christmas stuff for the show and had uh, just a big cart of crap. And then there was nobody mm. there. And I had to wring everything out myself, and it just got me thinking. You know what? I had it right. If I'm gonna have, to, if I have to work here as an employee, maybe I should just order my groceries and such online, and have them come to the. I mean, it's too much. I don't want to check out everything. If I have one or two things, yeah. yeah. But at some point, I need I need some help, or I would have applied to work here. It's intriguing, too. At least I get too, the employee discount. Because there have been stories that we have read that um, they're having all kinds of trouble with uh, theft. Yeah. With all these self-checkouts. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe it's True. people making mistakes or whatever they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so it is surprising that we keep seeing more and more of them. And then some people have a kind of backpedaled on it a little bit. Some retailers, and they're saying we're going to do, a, you know, the Target was having a big problem, so I don't know, they're policing it a little more. If you have a lot of items, are you a big self-checkout person? I try never to go to self-checkout, yeah. unless I have one or two things. Yeah. Because obviously, the, the one or two people at the checkout are checking out a million items, you know? Yeah. So if I have one or two things, but I usually will just I wait for a person. I can't decide, because I was at Target the other day, and the line was long for the woman to do it, but then the line for self was better, and then this lady said, we're going to self because there's four of them. There's a strategy there that maybe it does move quicker. If you're at the grocery store, you can scan a bunch of things, great, but when you, if you, you buy produce, them. if you get produce, oh, yeah. you're like, oh, oh, yeah, you're way in your oh, grade. Oh, you're looking at this and look up, and what's this? Is this a Roma? You can't get a barcode. I couldn't, I was uh, buying cheese, I couldn't get the barcode. Anyway. Is this a yellow and banana or an organic banana? Is this <laughs> yeah. a white onion or not? Oh, Come on well, now. it's exhausting. It Tell is. us if you, like, if you're one of the people out there who enjoys the self-checkout, uh, hashtag the nine. Now,